Hey everybody, Michael here from Anchored, and today I'm going to teach you a little tip about the iPhone 5 and if you should upgrade to iOS 10 on it or not. So this is an iPhone 5, um, slate black, and it is the iPhone 5. Uh, we've been running this for about a week, and I've been testing with it um, just to see if it's worth upgrading to the lowest spec device. Um, so we're just going to do a few tests um, to see how fast and well this thing performs in day-to-day -day usage. I'm not going to compare it to iOS 9, so I'll just have a blank slate, so we're going to see how long it takes to power up. Um, but we're just going to have a blank slate, see if it's okay or not. And we're not going to compare it, we're not going to do anything. This is just a raw iPhone 5 um, test. So as you can see, the boot logo, it's not, it's not um, speedy. Um, but honestly, how many times a day are you going to be doing this? Um, not much. Because this is just powering the device on. This is only if your device dies or you want to force restart it. Um, so it's taken taken a while. It's not that long, actually. Um, come on, iPhone 5, you can do it. So this is the lowest spec device for iOS 10, though. Uh, the 4S is now gone, so this is the new 4S. Um, but it's chugging along. It's almost there. And keep in mind, this is a beta, so it'll only get better. Um, so that that's that is good news. That's very good news if you are an iPhone 5 owner. Uh, so there we go. We got we got the uh, phone on. And I've just wondered this on, or I've realized this on iOS 9 that it never goes to the slide to unlock screen when you unlock your phone. It automatically goes to the home screen. Um, so this is with a fresh install. Um, everything seems to be pretty good. The app switcher is closed. So, um, app switcher's closed, we're going to start some tests. So let's start control center. Okay, that was a bit, that was a bit slow, but now that we've loaded it, it's, it's, it's fairly fast. So this is just initial boot up. So, um, notification center, not that slow. It's okay. Uh, spotlight search, it's about the same as iOS 9. I'd say, um, the widget, whatever, today view, uh, automatically, that's pretty nice, automatically, let's check the, um, let's check the, uh, home screen today view, pretty good, pretty good, um, so, fluidity just overall is okay, like, this is nothing like the 4S was, control center could use some work, um, Let's see how fast it takes to launch the App Store. Okay. It's pretty darn fast for what I expected. That's better than I expected. Um, so yeah, overall, we have been using this for a week. Um, like gaming, it takes a while. This is a brand new game. I don't even think I've played it on this phone yet, but... Um, it, it loaded up pretty quick. So, um, overall, I'd say it, it's pretty okay to upgrade, upgrade to iOS 10 on your, um, iPhone 5. This, it works, um, it works pretty well, it's pretty speedy, and it's, it's, it's good. So, um, if you want to see more of these videos on maybe the 5S or the 6, um, they're right there. Um, just tell me in the uh, comments below, and yeah, I will see you in the next one.